so. You nervous? Nah. I'm cool as ice, baby. Tomorrow night's performance of the story of Cock is going to go off without a hitch. Nothing is going to rattle me now. Still unrattled? Absolutely. Um, got a brush? I'm sure Millicent will do wonderfully. I know she will. She won't admit it, but I think she's nervous. That's to be expected, I suppose. You know, when my nerves get the better of me, I calm myself by repeating comforting mantras. Kablima Cola makes you cooler than other people. Kablima Cola makes you cooler than other people. Kablima Cola makes you cooler than other people. I think I'm going to throw up, and I'm not sure if it's nerves or him. Ladies and gentlemen, parents, teachers, and fans of elementary school theater, welcome to our performance of the story of Gawk. The kids have worked really hard, and I think it's very important that we're all here showing them our support. This is a really talented bunch of kids, and it's great that we're encouraging them to be creative. Nothing is more important. The basketball game started in the gym 15 minutes ago. Oh my gosh. I forgot about the game. It's the early 1860s. America is in the grip of a severe crisis. The caulk they use to seal up ships isn't good enough. Bertha and Elmer Wigan realized there was a problem. Avery, where is it? I dunno. I thought you had it. Well, we have to go on stage now. Grab something. What? Anything. Ahem, Elmer. This is very inadequate for sealing ships. Yes, I can imagine. There's no question, this cock you've developed. Polyvinyl cock is superior in every way to that old kind. That's wonderful. We've done it, Elmer. That's right, Bertha. <coughs> that wasn't in the script. Wheeze Mr. Larnblatt, I think I swallowed my reed. Avery, what were you thinking out there? Hey, I was just emulating all the really cool guys in movies. They don't just talk, they act. They kiss the girl. Whatever girl is around. Hesitation is for losers. The girls aren't supposed to throw up all over the stage. Well, of course they don't show that. Uh-oh. Here we go. I wanna talk to you, you booger brain. Millie, IW was just he trying to add some drama too. Shove it. You humiliated me in front of the entire audience. B but I was J just. I don't wanna hear it. Take this. I'm impressed you found a way to wedgie a guy who doesn't wear pants. I was just that mad. Ow, wow, ow, wow, ow, wow, ow, wow, wow. Hi, Avery. I assume you know why you're here. Um, yeah. Am I in trouble? Nah, you can relax, Avery. But I'm going to have to ask you to have more respect for Millicent Mudd's feelings in the future. Luckily, she's a mature young lady. And I think you can both just move on. Okay. Give me another cootie shot. What is this now? 17? Millie will be fine. But she can be surprisingly dangerous when she's this mad. No kidding. She gave me a black eye. But you look the same as always. There are advantages to being a raccoon. You know, Ozzy, I've really learned something from this experience. Uh-oh. No. Seriously. I've learned that I can exert power over boys. This has proven that I have the power to, um, cause boys to, use me as a prop to, make them look cool. Dang it. Am I ever going to learn a lesson that doesn't violate some basic principle? Well, there was that one about baking soda, but I'm not supposed to remind you about that. <laughs>